fermented foods have a wide range of health benefits. In this video, I'm going to explain what fermented foods are, the different components, and how they can help improve and maintain health. Fermentation is a biochemical process involving microorganisms, typically certain bacteria and or yeast, being deliberately added to food or occurring naturally in foods. Fermented foods include yogurt, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, kombucha, miso, soy sauce, tempeh, and tamari, to name a few. The process of fermentation of food results in three beneficial products, probiotics, prebiotics, and biogenics. Biogenics are beneficial products created by the bacteria in fermented foods. To explain further, probiotics in fermented foods improve, improve bowel health, improve the immune system, can reduce allergy responses, produce neurotransmitters, and produce vitamins. Prebiotics in fermented foods are non-digestible foods to us, but food for the friendly bacteria, and so stimulate the growth or activity of these beneficial bacteria in the large bowel. They also stimulate the growth, activity, and survival of the beneficial bacteria in the large bowel. Biogenics are beneficial products created by the bacteria in the fermentation process. They include B vitamins, substances that can kill unhealthy bacteria, stimulate the immune system in a positive way, and produce neurotransmitters like GABA, which has a calming effect on the nervous system. Some biogenics found in fermented milk products have been shown to lower blood pressure, and they can also lower cholesterol. One important point on lowering blood pressure and, and the cholesterol is that one can't use fermented foods to treat high blood pressure or high cholesterol. They will not be strong enough to do that. They can, however, be used as part of a healthy diet to prevent developing high blood pressure and high cholesterol. The benefits of these th three products on, in the food are they can beneficially alter the gut microbiome makeup and function. That is, they can reduce the numbers of unfriendly bacteria. They can help with the digestion and absorption of food. They improve leaky gut, stimulate the gut immune system, and have an anti-inflammatory effect. They can also modify brain activity in a positive way and help with anxiety and depression. All these wonderful effects from food. Now I will discuss some specific popular fermented foods. The first is yogurt. Yogurt is probably the most well-known food containing probiotics. It does contain roughly the same nutrient composition as milk, but does have more of the B vitamins and more absorbable calcium, magnesium, potassium and zinc. The protein is also more easily digested. Next is kefir. Kefir is a fermented milk drink with a sour taste and a creamy texture. It is attributed to have high blood pressure and cholesterol lowering effects. It also has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial effects. It improves intestinal health. It is also attributed to have antifungal properties. Again, to emphasize, kefir is not a treatment for diseases, but is to be used as part of a healthy diet. Yogurt and kefir are milk-containing products and must not be consumed by those allergic to milk. The next fermented food I'd like to discuss is sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is produced by fermenting raw cabbage. It has high levels of vitamins B and C and minerals like calcium, iron and potassium. It has anti-cancer and anti-atherosclerotic activity as shown in animal studies. Sauerkraut is one of the few fermented foods to have a study done on patients suffering from irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. Over a six week period, there was a significant reduction in IBS severity. The next fermented food I'd like to discuss is kimchi. Kimchi is a traditional Korean dish and is prepared by adding a variety of ingredients such as radishes, spices, and fish sauce to the main ingredient, Chinese cabbage. 
it is attributed to have many beneficial effects, some of which are lowering the risk of cancer, reducing the risk of developing atherosclerosis, obesity, inflammation, cholesterol, and reducing insulin resistance and improving the immune system. Traditionally, kimchi is consumed daily by the Koreans. Kombucha is a fermented tea beverage using black tea and sugar and adding a culture of bacteria and yeast. The sugar is usually consumed by the fermentation process. Animal studies have shown positive effects in high blood pressure, high cholesterol and kidney damage. Kombucha has become a very popular drink and it's important to note that many commercial bottled kombuchas have added sugar and are therefore not recommended. In summary, fermented foods are increasing in popularity for the disease-preventing benefits. But there are very few studies done on humans to test for their benefits. There are, however, many animal studies that show numerous benefits. I wish to point out that just because there is a lack of human studies does not mean there is an absence of benefit. Research studies are very expensive to conduct and studies on food are not popular as there is little commercial benefit from conducting them. These foods have been used safely for hundreds if not thousands of years and can be added to a regular healthy diet. To get the benefits, fermented foods should be consumed the way the traditional cultures use them, that is, on a frequent basis, meaning daily or several times a week. The benefits seem to be in the long-term use and should not be used to treat disease, but as part of a healthy diet to prevent disease. I'm Dr. Egi Suse. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe to the channel below and I look forward to your comments. Thank you for watching.